Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Golang on your Windows 11 operating system. In addition, I'm also going to show you how you can configure Go with your Visual Studio Code Editor. So let's get started and let's start with the installation of Go. So first of all, go to your favorite browser and search for download go and the first link which will appear here will be from go.dev so just click on that link now this will redirect you to go.dev forward slash doc forward slash install page where you can see the procedure of how to install golang on various different operating system now in case you land on the go.dev file which is the main home page you can click on this download button here and it's going to redirect you to this page which says go.dev forward slash dl. So here also you can see featured downloads. Here we have Microsoft Windows, Apple Mac OS and Linux systems and the featured download for Windows is this MSI file. If you land on the go.dev forward slash doc forward slash install page, you can once again see the download button here. And also you can see the instructions. So when I click on the download button, you will be redirected to the same page. Now in here, as you can see, the featured download for Windows is this MSI file. If you scroll down here in this list, you will also find that MSI link here. So we are going to download this .msi file. So I'm going to click on this .msi file link. Now once this MSI file is downloaded, you can go to this download icon and you can go to the folder where it's downloaded. So I'm going to click on this MSI file and let me minimize the browser and this folder explorer here and you can see the download of Go programming language has been started here. So now the process of installation of Go is very simple. You just need to click on next here and then accept license terms and conditions and click on next. And this will be the location where Go will be installed on your Windows operating system. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default. If you want to change the location, click on change and then choose your desired folder. Once you have provided the destination folder where Go will be installed, click on next. And now you are ready to install Go. So at this point, you just need to click on this install button, which is going to show you this kind of warning, which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? What this warning means is Go is going to try to add the Golang executable file part to your system paths and it's asking for your permission. I'm going to click on yes here, which is going to start the installation process. And once you see this kind of message, which says completed the Go programming language setup wizard, that means Go is successfully installed on your Windows operating system. So at this point, you can click on finish. Now, in order to check whether Go is properly installed on your system or not, what you can do is you can just click on the search bar and search for CMD, which is going to give you this result, which is for command prompt. So just click on the command prompt icon here, which is going to open the command prompt. Now here you just need to give a very small command which is go version and then press enter. And if it returns the version of go, then go is properly installed on your Windows 11 operating system. Now how this uh, command prompt recognizes that go is uh, in your system path. Now to know that you can just type the command path in your command prompt and you will see at the end that this installer for Go have added this path for the Go binary file in your system path 
and that's how your command prompt recognizes that golang uh, is installed and it recognizes the go commands right so if this go version is visible then go is working on your windows 11 operating system now in the next part we are going to configure golang with the visual studio code now if you haven't installed visual studio code the procedure is really simple i have already installed visual studio code so you can see this icon on my desktop but if you haven't you can just search for vs code download and then click on this uh, link which will redirect you to this download page just click on the windows option and then just click on the executable file and visual studio code will be installed on your windows operating system now first of all what we are going to do is we are going to create a project file for our golang so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the documents folder here and i'm going to create a new folder inside my documents folder you are free to choose any location i prefer uh, this documents folder so i'm going to just create a folder called go lang and then press enter and then i'm going to go inside this folder and i can either right click and then click on show more options and then click on open with code so what this is going to do is this is going to open this folder in visual studio code so you can see this golang folder is open inside my visual studio code now in order to uh, work with go projects in your visual studio code you need to install an extension so for that you need to go to this icon which is for extensions so i'm going to click on this extensions icon and once this extensions section is open just search for golang in the search bar this is going to give you many results here but the result we are looking for is this one which says go and it has star on top of that which means it's the main package for the golang for your visual studio code editor so i'm going to click on this uh, extension and once this extension is open you can see it has around 10 million download so it's the main package and it's created by go team at google so i'm going to click on the install button which is going to install this go extension and once this extension is installed you can see uninstall and disable buttons so just close this extension file and then we go to the explorer here so now we are going to create a folder in which we will create our go project so here in my golang directory i'm going to create a folder first i'm going to name it as hello so whatever folder name you give here and inside that folder whatever file you will create for example inside this hello folder i'm going to create a new file with the name main.go right so the folder name is hello and the main go file name is main.go right now here you might see this kind of warning which says the go pls command is not available run go install hyphen v and this uh, latest version of go to install i'm going to click on install here now one thing to note here is i have created hello uh, folder and then i have created main.go file now as you might already know go can be compiled into a binary file right so whenever you will compile this main.go file the name of the binary file will be the same as the parent folder so when you build your main code it's going to create a binary with the name hello so i have clicked on the install button which is going to start the installation of all these tools and you can see all the tools are now installed and you can see it says succeeded 
So let's go to the main.go file and here I'm going to add a package main first. Now what does this mean? So this line declares the package to which this go file belongs. So in go language, programs are organized into packages and the main package is a special package used for creating the executable files. And this file where you uh, include the main package, it should have the main function as the entry point, which we are going to declare a little bit later. Now I'm going to import a package. So I'm going to just write import and the package name is FMT. So this package, which is called FMT, provides the function for formatted IO. And this is the main package, which is used for printing the text on the console. So we are going to import that package here. Let me just close this uh, window for now because we don't need it. So now we are going to create a main function. So the way you declare a function in uh, Go is you can just write FUNC and the name of your function, which is main. So as I said, every uh, Go binary or every Go program should have one main method, which will be the main entry point for your Go project, right? So this is the main function we have created. And inside this main function, we are going to use this FMT package. So I'm going to just write FMT dot print line. So just write uh, print LN here. And then in th inside the parenthesis, we are going to just write hello world, or I'm going to just say hello from go, for example, right? So we have created our simple hello world code here. Just save your file. Now we have written our code, but we can see this error which says go.mod file not found in current directory or any parent directory, right? So to solve this problem, what we need to do. So right now we are in our golang folder and I need to go inside the hello folder first, inside my project folder. So I'm going to just write CD and then just type hello. And once I'm in my hello folder here, I just need to initialize the mod or module for the go. So I'm going to just write go mod and then in it and then space the name of the module. I'm going to name it as hello here and then press enter. And what this command does is it's cre it creates this go.mod file and it says module hello and the version of uh, uh, go is 1.21.3 right so once this go.mod file is created you can see all the errors are gone right now and we can now uh, run our project okay so once that's done we can either click on this run button or we can run our code using the commands also. So let me show you first how you can run this program using this run code button. So I'm going to just click on run code button and it's going to run this file and hopefully it prints hello from go here, which is what we wanted, right? So this was the first way of running your program inside Visual Studio Code, right? So we have added the extension and then we have initialized our module using command line and then we ran our uh, uh, go file or program using this button but how you can uh, run your code using the command line so for that you just need to go to terminal and go to the directory so i'm in my golang directory right now so i'm going to cd into the hello directory and once i'm in my hello directory I can simply run my uh, code by giving this command, which is go run and the name of my file, which is 
main dot go okay so inside my hello directory i have this main dot go so i'm going to just go inside the directory and run go run main dot go where my main function is there and when i uh, run this command it gives me the output hello from go which is this one right now one more simple way of running your go code is just go to the directory and then just write go run space dot that means i want to run my uh, code in the directory and go is going to find the main function in that directory right and it's going to execute it and it's going to give you the output i'm going to just uh, press enter and it's also going to uh, give you give us the same result which is hello from go just wait for a few seconds and it gives us the same result now the third option is to create a binary right now we are running our code directly using the go run command but it's not creating any binary here and in go we can create the binary which is more faster right so to build the binary we can just write go build and then space dot and what it's going to do is it's going to create a binary with the same name as your parent folder name which is hello in my case so you can see it has created hello.exe file and now i can run this exe file by using dot forward slash and the name of the exe file which is hello.exe in my case and then press enter and it's going to give me the same output which is hello from go so this is how you can run your go program in few different ways so this is how you can install go on your windows operating system and configure it with visual studio code and run your code using visual studio code or the terminal i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video